my name is Stephen Beecham. And my name is Stephen Beecham. And here's what's happening this week on CNET's Crave Blog. Introducing the Pizza Box vending machine, which is the first pizza vending machine of its kind on the planet Earth, possibly. Inside the pizza box is an 800 degree oven that bakes your pizza pie in 90 seconds flat and then spits it out piping hot to the customer in a small pizza box. The pizza comes with a knife, a fork, Parmesan cheese, oregano, red pepper, a wet towelette, and a napkin. Each pizza machine will feature live video chat customer service, making it as close to a fast food experience as possible. Pizza Box is still being tested with a target release date of early 2015. <laughs> Finally, some coffee-infused genius has invented the mini presso, which can serve up a tasty espresso in minutes on the fly with just a few simple steps. Let's walk through it. First, you break down the mini presso into six simple parts. Then you take the scoop and fill it with coffee grounds. So far, so good. Then you take the sixth orange piece out of the pile and use it to do some sort of hocus pocus hand movement magic trick in the style of David Copperfield, I don't know, and then you press the coffee grounds down into the scoop. Place the grounds into one of the thingies and seal it off with another screw-on lid. Then, add hot water to a separate container. Screw that container onto the other part. Make sure it's secure. Then, you unlock the pumping system from its travel position. We're almost done, guys, stay with me. And then finally, we pump, pump, pump. Pump the espresso through the device, building up pressure. Keep pumping, guys. Lastly, the liquid squirts out into a small espresso cup for you to enjoy and get your fix. Wasn't that simple? Jeez. Continuing on with this ridiculous food theme, pancake art is a thing, and I was thoroughly impressed with the pancake art skills of Nathan Shields, who recently demonstrated how to make zombie pancake art right before our eyes. As you can see, he's using different shades of pancake batter to give the piece depth and a sense of texture. I think this piece really brings out the hunger for brains behind those eyes. Well done. Nathan's secret ingredient is obviously the zombie jam, which has yet to be identified. Toshiba recently unveiled a brand new communication Android at the Cutting Edge IT and Electronics Comprehensive Exhibition in Japan. The robot's name is Aiko Shihira, and she is programmed to speak Japanese sign language. Aiko's hands and arms move with the help of 43 actuators that give her movement fluidity. Toshiba created an algorithm to coordinate the movement of the 43 actuators in the android's joints. Currently, the robot only knows a few gestures, such as greetings, but the company has plans to develop the robot into a more robust android by the year 2020. Her abilities will include speech synthesis, speech recognition, robotic control, and other sensors. Toshiba's goal for Aiko is to provide a companion for the elderly and people with dementia, to offer telecounseling and natural speech, communicate through sign language, and allow healthcare workers or family members to keep an eye on elderly people. Can you imagine being looked after by a robot like this? I'm sure you can actually. Aiko was developed in collaboration with Osaka University, which has been developing humanoid robots for years. All right, guys, that's the show. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. Make sure you follow Crave on Twitter at Crave and check out this week's Crave giveaway. This week's Crave giveaway is the Foldy Lock Folding Bicycle Lock. This bike lock blends high security with a modern look and fresh design. Go to the blog and enter to win.